Hey guys, today's video, we're gonna fix all these green squiggly artifacts as well as some screen tearing that may happen on your Elgato capture device. I'm using an Elgato HD 60S Plus. I got it last month and I've been facing this for a long time. For first of all, I thought it was a power supply issue and my GPU not getting enough power, which made sense. Uh, I did have a higher uh, power supply. I installed it today and it still persists. Thankfully, I was able to come up with a solution. So this solution is gonna have a little bit of tinkering, mostly on your uh, game gaming PC, if you're using the HD 60S Plus or other Elgato capture devices that face this issue uh, on a PC to PC streaming setup as I am doing. So um, you might not have any issues if you're on console, for example. So what I did was, um, as I have an 165 hertz monitor, 1080p 165 hertz monitor. Um, so if you go to your options and if I go to graphics, that that's the that's the monitor's model. It's an Acer one. It's a decent one, but 165 hertz. The problem is Elgato captures at a max of 120. It's okay to give a pass through of a maximum of 120. So I don't. You guys can't see it. on your screen. I have the OSD of the monitor telling me what uh, hertz I'm running, and right now I'm running 165 hertz. And the result is this weird green thing that's on his, uh, you know, his um, hair. You can see it on this corner, and actually you can see it really bad on um, this screen right here. You can see it at the top. I'm, you know, if I scroll down, you can see like that green weird flickering uh, over here as well so I this was driving me mad I don't like having something and not having it work a hundred percent so what I did was um, I went and I'm gonna quit out of the game now so what I did was go to um, the Nvidia settings you might have uh, at AMD's own version so if you go to Nvidia control panel if you have an Nvidia card um, you I'm just gonna wait for it to open You'll have an option to come here called change resolution. You want to go here, and here you want to lock it to 120 hertz. Now, this may only matter to those who have a monitor that's above 120. You're running it at 144. You're running it, um, uh, you know, 165, 240, whatever the hertz may be. So that may depend on your monitor. But this is the solution that worked for me, so I just wanted to share it. So you put it on 120 hertz, you click apply, your screen is going to go crazy, and that's okay. So your screen went crazy, a pop-up will open up asking, do you want to say yes or no to it? make sure you press yes and you're set as far as this is concerned right now on my osd it says 120 fps you may have an issue where um it still gives you some trouble like you're seeing on your screen right now you can see it shift around on your streaming pc you want to open up the elgato 4k capture utility and i will show the settings i have on the uh, utility which helped me fix the issue and uh, that should hopefully help fix your issues as well um, if you do have still trouble still make sure you comment and I'll try and troubleshoot it for you uh, this is one of the things I hate when you buy something new and it doesn't work exactly as you hoped it would but uh, thankfully due to the wealth of knowledge you can find online it's a lot easier to fix nowadays but I didn't see anything suggesting these exact steps to help fix with that so I just wanted to let you guys know this worked for me and I'll show you footage without the pixels in a bit. So in case your computer freaks out a bit and Elgato doesn't get detected in OBS, don't worry about it, you're on the right track. All you have to do is go again to this same screen and make sure this is again on 120. Sometimes the computer freaks out a little bit and puts it right back into the highest hertz or highest refresh rate. Now I have the, like I said, the OSD on my monitor showing 120 now. Even though I changed it to 120 earlier, it still showed 165 because the monitor overruled or the PC overruled my decision. So now once I change it again, without the Elgato working, it got detected again. I needed to deactivate and activate Elgato again, and it was all good after that. So now it's 120 hertz, 
my OSD is saying 120 hertz. So what we're gonna go is uh, what we're gonna do is go ahead and play uh, Warzone if I can find it. There you go. Um, and I'll show you guys that we'll no longer have the green artifacts or any screen tearing or anything to do with it. So like I said, you wanna have your um, Elgato 4K capture utility downloaded and installed, and you want to use that to give you the settings I'm showing right now. If you go to click on the small cog first on the top right corner, when you go there, the EDID, you the one I've selected should be in 1080p. I'll highlight it on your screen so you have no doubts on what to be. So 1080p in my case. I believe that'll be the case across the board, unless you're streaming 4K, um, which case I really can't help you because this is uh, all from my experience, uh, not much else other than that. So uh, once you have that setting, make sure and double check your Hertz on your monitor or your NVIDIA control panel is 120 max you can go less than 120 no problem but if you go above 120 uh that's where you get the green artifacts you get the elgato running into all sorts of troubles because elgato uh really struggles with higher hertz other than 120. now i don't know why elgato has trouble with the higher hertz but as you can see we no longer have the green things right above there there yeah like there's nothing green or any uh, artifacts or any kind of screen tearing or visual tearing at all so that is all you have to do after changing the option in the nvidia control panel to 120 hertz you want to make sure you go in here and go to the settings and make sure the 120 hertz is selected and not the higher hertz in this game right here so as you can see it says 165 but you need to click on this and click on 120 hertz and then apply change so i'm um, which is what I'm doing. So, which doesn't change anything because it's all, it, even though it shows 165, it is 125, 120 hertz. If I click on 165 and save, you lose display and it, you won't see anything. Now, I don't know why we have to jump through all these sorts of hoops, but this helped for me. As you can see, his hair is flawless. Well, I mean, it's got some clipping and stuff, but that's Warzone. Um, but this worked for me, and I thought I'll put this out there because if I had a video like this, it would have been a lot more helpful for my own uh, research purposes. But like I said, there are some steps, and I know it's a little confusing because you got to go back and forth, and I couldn't show you all that in... Uh, footage so i'm just going to quickly recap for you first off you want to go into your gaming pc select um nvidia options nvidia control panel or amd's equivalent control panel go to your display options and select 120 hertz also want to go ahead and open up the 4k capture utility on your streaming pc and make sure that these settings again i'm putting it on screen are what you have the edid you need to have at 1080p this is the only way it worked for me now i don't know if there's other ways to work i'm not that technical enough to understand but this is what worked for me so make sure that's there now you may not have the capture utility work anymore and that's okay you want to close that Open up OBS, and if you're having any trouble having Elgato being detected in OBS, do that NVIDIA option set up one more time. Just make sure it is 120 hertz, because it has a tendency to keep putting it back when Elgato has some sort of conflict with it. Once you do it, though, you're set. You don't need to do it anymore. But once the initial part, you might have to go back and forth a little bit. You might want to activate and deactivate the source in OBS for it to completely open up. And I don't mean visibility on and off. You want to double click, open the source up and click deactivate and then activate it as well. You should have it. Now, when you boot up to a game like Warzone, or whichever game you were having trouble with, make sure you go to the options and make sure you select 120 hertz as your um, refresh rate. Because if you put it at 165, Elgato will not capture it. You'll get a blank screen. If you put it at 120 hertz, you're golden. As you can see, no screen tearing, no green dots and all that. And this is great because... Um, I kind of like playing zombies and I kind of like playing and streaming and chilling uh, Warzone with my friends. But the problem is uh, I couldn't do that without massive green blotches everywhere or uh, the screen tearing at the corner of the screen. Like I said, this is a situation that I faced and it's with the 
configuration I have. So it may not fix your problem, but if you do have a problem, make sure you let me know in the comments and I will definitely try and help you if I can. Uh, if it's something I know about, if it's something I can find answers to, I guarantee you I will help you. But that's it for this video. Thank you so much. If you found this helpful, please consider hitting that like button. And if you'd like to watch more videos of mine, make sure you hit that subscribe button. This is RD Techie. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.